Johnson, an historic and controversial vote tonight legalizing same-sex marriage in the state of New York. It ended up 33 to 29 in favor with four Republicans crossing party lines and it set off a cascade of cheers and jeers. CBS 2's Sean Hennessy live in Greenwich Village at the Gay Rights Landmark, the Stonewall Inn. Sean. Yeah, Maurice, tell you what, they've been packing the streets here all night. Couples are hugging each other, kissing each other, taking pictures, really drinking in the moment, making sure they mem memorialize where they were when this historic vote happened. Uh, on the jukebox here, the song, I Believe in Miracles, just came on. After years of defeat, a seismic shift for same-sex marriages. Finally, lesbian and gay couples can get married legally here in New York. Tonight, in the shadow of darkness, a bright light shines on this chamber. There is cheering in the streets of Greenwich Village, a celebration of a time. I can't say enough about this. It's really amazing. Gays thought would never come. I'm crying. You know, I can't believe that this is, is actually happening. Moments earlier at the state capitol, lawmakers put their legacies on the line. Eyes 33, nays 29. <laughs> and voted to legalize same-sex marriages, making the Empire State the largest to do so. It means that all of my friends can finally do the thing that they wanted to do, that I can do. Um, it means that we're equal. Equality is what gays say it's all about, finally doing what so many take for granted. Anybody who wants to get married in the state can. It was always a civil rights issue, and uh, now the choice is theirs. The Senate vote came after a week of intense lobbying from gay marriage opponents and advocates in Albany. While closer to home, the city's mayor argued for gay marriage, while Archbishop Dolan called the same-sex marriage bill, quote, heresy. The swing vote came from Stephen Salon, a Republican who changed his position. I know my vote uh, is a vote of conscience. But it hasn't been approved by the people. It's been the legislators that have shoved this down the people's throat. Tonight, the Catholic League blasted lawmakers, accusing them of dropping the ball while creating a slippery slope. To redefine it to be between a man and a man, or a woman and a woman, I mean, why, why stop there? Why not a man and two women? Or why not a man and two men? It, it, you, where, where does it stop? The vote, a crucial victory for Governor Cuomo, who called same-sex marriage a top priority. It's a big step forward. I, I'm so excited. We've been working on this for... Ever. For decades. The wait is now over for this couple and so many others now able to receive all the rights and privileges that marriage brings. We'll get married one day, <laughs> but not, not, not next week. <laughs> we're, we're, not, we're not stepping into City Hall tomorrow morning. Back out loud, you hear the cheers uh, here in Greenwich Village. People so excited that uh, finally they'll have the same rights as heterosexual couples. This bill will be signed soon by Governor Cuomo, who championed the project uh, through the Assembly and through the Senate, and then will take effect 30 days after that. So clearly, we should be seeing same-sex marriages in the state of New York by midsummer. We're live tonight in Greenwich Village. Sean Hennessy, CBS 2 News. Sean, thank you. The vote tonight certainly isn't sitting well with New York Archbishop Timothy Dolan. Just moments ago, he issued a statement saying, in part, we worry that both marriage and the family will be undermined by this tragic presentation of the government in passing this legislation that attempts to redefine these cornerstones of civilization. And so New York joins five other states that allow same-sex marriage. They include Connecticut, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Iowa, along with the District of Columbia. Four of those states allow some limited religious exemptions. And stay with CBS2 and CBSNewYork.com for the latest reaction to this historic decision.